Welcome back everybody to another Diacon Dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke9 and today we're going to be doing another unboxing video. Before we start I want to say thank you to Glenn. I just want to let you know I did get your letter and I really appreciate all of the very kind things that you said in it and um, I will, if you see this, you know, hopefully you see this, but I will uh, try to reach out to you and uh, yeah, alright, so thank you very much. Um, if you're if you haven't seen me do one of these types of videos before everybody uh, basically there's a link in the description to a PO box that you can send stuff to if you ever feel the need or want to do that um, I appreciate it and yeah sometimes it introduces me to new music sometimes there's all types of wacky wacky stuff going on and it's uh, it's fun and um, yeah all right so, as always, um, these packages have been pre-opened, but not looked into. So, for example, you'll have something like this, which still has all the packaging on top of it, and this will be the first one that we open. So, let me see if I can find a first name. David, David King, all right, hello. First one's from David King. Um, I think there's like three from him on here. Uh, I feel like I'm getting redundant by um, saying thank you, but I'm going to keep saying thank you after every one of these. So thank you guys very much. But let's see what we have in here. So first off, we have this. It says Yes DVD, so I'm assuming it is a Yes DVD. Cool. 50th anniversary Yes, featuring John Anderson, Trevor Rabin, and Rick Wakeman live at the Apollo. Live 50th anniversary. Wow. Alright. Cool. I actually can't wait to listen to this. Um... Cool. Then there is a book by Scott Adams called God's Debris, a Thought Experiment. Huh. Let me, uh, uh, I'm reading the back and it's super intriguing, so let me read it to you really quick. God's Debris is the first non-Dilbert, non-human, non-humor <laughs> book by best-selling author Scott Adams, creator of Dilbert. I've actually never heard of that before, but... Maybe I should look it up. Adams describes God's debris as a thought experiment wrapped in a story. It's designed to make your brain spin around inside of your skull. Imagine that you meet a very old man who you eventually realize knows literally everything. Imagine that he explains for you the greatest mysteries of life. Quantum physics, evolution, God, gravity, light, psychic phenomenon, and probability in a way so simple, so novel, and so compelling that it all fits together and makes perfect sense. Why? What does it feel like to suddenly understand everything? You might not find the answer, the final answer to the big question inside, but God's debris might provide the most compelling vision of reality that you will ever read. The thought experiment is this. Try to figure out what's wrong with the old man's explanation of reality. Share the book with your smart friends, then discuss it later while enjoying a beverage. It's pretty cool. One of the, it is the number one best-selling ebook on the planet. Has no violence or sex, but the ideas are powerful and not appropriate for readers under 14. Holy cow. I'm actually really excited to look through this. This is, I love stuff like this, you know, super deep, thinky stuff. It's fun. All right. Um, then finally, holy cow, really? All right, the, fi the final thing, that is the final thing, right? Yes, the final thing in this package is Steven Wilson's, I think this is his newest album, right? The Future Bites. Um, I've only listened to like uh, the two singles off this and yeah, wow, thank you so much. I've actually been wanting to listen to it. Now I can, now I have, oh, it's stereo mix and high resolution 5.1 surround mix. That's freaking awesome, man. Thank you. Yeah, I love Steven Wilson's stuff. Well, pretty much everything that he does is uh, interesting to me. Even the remixes. Um, I've seen some people complain about the remixes of Stephen Wilson on YouTube, and he specifically remixes them to work with like super high-end um, audio equipment. So listening to like the, let me think, I don't know if he's done like Thick as a Brick or something like that, but I know he's done like Yes and Jethro Tull. So, for example, I'm going to use Thick as a Brick, even if he hasn't done that, whatever. If you're listening to the uh, to a Stephen Wilson remix of Thick as a Brick on YouTube, it's not 
that's not the way that it's supposed to be listened to. So like the mix is going to be off because you're listening to it in stereo um, coming from this compressed and whatever. Yeah, I, I don't understand it all myself, but um, that's what I've read after I've uh, I did a little bit of research after seeing some people talking about how it doesn't sound right on YouTube. Anyway, all that aside, this is supposedly a departure for Steven Wilson. His original group was Porcupine Tree, and um, they made a lot of, like, kind of psychedelic, but also, like, metal at some points, prog music. Um, yeah, I, I really like Porcupine Tree and Steven Wilson. All right, moving on. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. That's awesome. Next, we have... Um, this, which it says is from, oh, they do not put a first name. They just put W, so it's from W. I don't ever want to say anyone's, like, full name on here, unless they've given me permission to. All right. Oh, there we go. Never mind. All right, so first off, Quadrophenia. It says, Daniel, thank you for taking me on this journey again. This is my music this is my music book I bought in 1973. Wally. Holy cow. Really? So this is the the lyrics and the sheet music to Quadrophenia. Wow. Thank you so much. That's awesome. It's got the, the liner notes at the end. That is really cool. Thank you so much. And then we have, this is from R somebody. Let's see what we have in here. All right. First, there's a letter. It says, Dear Daniel, encloses a copy of The Who's. Whoa. That's crazy. Of The Who's uh, 1996 to 1997 concert Quadrophenia performed in its entirety. After your magnificent review of this album, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Um, it's probably a good idea to watch them perform this on stage. It's a mul multimedia event. Wow. That uses vignettes in between, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, in between songs with actor Alex Langdon in the role of Jimmy narrating the story. The video includes old footage of The Who, newsreels, and clips from the feature film Quadrophenia. They bring several performers to sing the parts of The Godfather, The Ace Face, Bellboy, and The Bus Driver. I saw this concert in Philadelphia. The pop for Billy Idol when he came on stage was massive. There are plenty of us in the Legion who have encouraged you to watch live performances of these bands. This, this is not The Who in their prime, but they still kick ass. By the way, the drummer is Zach Starkey. He's the son of some drummer named Ringo Starr. Wow. Some drummer. He does a great job doing Keith Moon's work. Oh, it's Rick. Firebird. Thank you. Thank you so much. I did not realize that until just now, but you had your name at the top. Alrighty then. Appreciate it. So, I'm actually really excited to see this. Got a lot of live stuff to look at. I'm not sure how to go about reacting to something like this, though. I know a lot of people have asked me to do The Who live, and I tried to find uh, it on uh, on YouTube, and um, uh, I, I couldn't really find much in, in the way of uh, live stuff. So, like, full concerts with the full album or whatnot. I think I was able to see one or two uh, individual songs. Maybe I'll look again. Um, yeah, but anyway... At any rate, even if I don't react to it, I will definitely s watch it. So, you know, there's that. If, assuming I can't find any way to react to it. So, thank you so much. That's awesome. All right. Next. Looks like there's a shirt. But first, it also looks like there's a letter. So, we're going to start there. This is from a Dave. Greetings, Mr. Deathstroke9. I'm really enjoying your... Dis Ooh, it's cool. I don't really want to show it because it has information on it, like, you know, addresses and names and stuff. But there are, um, on the sides and on the top, we have album covers from Rush. There's Hemispheres. I think that's Hemispheres. Um, Fly by Night. There's the pig. So that's uh, animals. 
I think the one on top is yes. Might be topographical oceans, but I'm not sure. Hopefully I got all that right. If I did, then yay, go me. Okay. I'm really enjoying your discovery of amazing music. I too find found many of the bands that you react to in my youth and continue to be a lifelong fan of Rush, Yes, Pink Floyd, and other great prog bands. Keep pushing the boundaries like I did on my musical journey, journey diving into metal, punk, ska, and the rest of it. Hell yeah, we're going to. I've included a couple of CDs from another favorite band of mine. These super talented musicians are not that well known, but many of their later Christian metal albums are excellent. I think you will appreciate them. I hope this Yes t-shirt fits you and that you'll continue to share your exploration of great music. All the best. Thank you so much. Where Moth and Rust Destroy. I've never heard of this group. Did you say they're a Christian metal group? Sounds fun. Let's do it. All right. And then we've got a shirt. It's a Yes shirt. I have a plethora of Yes shirts now. Ooh, and this one specifically says Tales from Topographical Oceans. Cool. Awesome. Eventually, I run out of um, descriptors. Beautiful, amazing, incredible, and thank you. Um, yeah. Um, then we have this package right here, which I am not sure who this is from, but let's see what we have here. Um, yeah. So this is a uh, this is a thing that I I kind of need. Hmm, let's see. It's a Seagate expansion. Connect with a computer, and it's a drive for a PC. A freaking four terabyte. Wow, that's huge. And it uh, it's a uh, it's a it's a desktop drive that you can add to the computer and uh, store stuff, store information in it, which is very useful and something that I desperately need after my computer shut down and I lost some information. Um, so thank you so much. Um, pretty sure I know who this is from, but I'm not going to say it just in case I'm wrong. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will put it to very good use. Next, we have the final two packages from David King. I'm going to open them really quick. Here we go. All right, we've got a, we've got some albums. Let's go through it. As always, um, there's there's a lot of them, so I'm gonna go through it relatively quickly. But here we go. First, we have cheap cheap trick found all the parts. Um, I don't think I've reacted to anything by Cheap Trick yet. Obviously, it's a uh, hopefully it's a group that we check out soon. Um, cool. Then I recognize um, this. This logo, well, actually, obviously, it just says Star Wars, but, you know, it still is a logo. It says, I meant to ask you about Star Wars. Then I heard you say you enjoyed it. These should sound great on your system. Yeah, Star Wars is um, one of my favorite franchises of all time. Probably my favorite franchise of all time, to be honest. Um, yeah. So then we have the original story booklet is inside. And this is Empire Strikes Strikes Back soundtrack. So that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Man, this music is so a part of me. John Williams does such an incredible job with all this. Like, man. <laughs> yeah, Star Wars has been a pretty big part of my uh, entertainment for... Uh, it was one of the first, like, live-action movies, I think, that I saw. Um, and yeah, the story of it's just a, yeah, I, I love Star Wars. All of them. Um, the, the newer ones, the, like, the, the really new ones are, um, they're okay, for the most part, you know? Like, I don't, I don't hate them like some people seem to. Um, I also don't hate the prequels. The prequels are pretty good, too. I really like episode three obviously <laughs> but um yeah just the the entire timeline and all of the lore and all of the and the films are just so hold such a place in my heart sorry i'm turning into a fanboy here we go next we have a jazzy blues and folk side of prog rock okay um interesting 
I can't even read the uh, the name of this group right now. Joy. Joy of cooking. Is that is that is that what the name of that is? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, I'm just gonna show it, and I will do more research later. But it looks cool. Looks. I mean. This, this album cover has so much of a story to tell already, obviously. It's just a random chair in the middle of the jungle. What happened to the place? Or, or did something get teleported or, or what? Anyway, um, then we have status quo. Cool. Rocking all over the world. Okay. Status quo live. Whoa. The final cut, which I'm assuming that that's that's Pink Floyd's like last album, right? And it's really it's more a Roger Waters solo album if I'm not mistaken from the bit of research that I've done on their discography. Yeah, by Roger Waters performed by Pink Floyd. Yeah. Interesting. We'll get there. We'll get there. I'm excited. Pink Floyd has become one of my favorite groups. Ray Charles. Friendship. I like Ray Charles. Good name for an album, too. Planet Waves. Moon Glow. Looks indie. The, oh, does that say Bob Dylan on guitar and harmonica with the band? Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> oh, wow. Forever Young. Forever Young. I think that's one of my dad's favorite songs. This says, you said you like everything Knights in the Round Table related. Add this to your collection. Family fun for sure. Twistin' Knights at the Round Table. Recorded live. Bill Haley and his Comets. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Cool, cool. The Kinks Greatest. Okay. The Kinks won for the road. Ooh, a Caravan album. Okay. Interesting. So a lot of people have requested that I check out this group. Caravan. This is a prog rock band from Canterbury, England area. You have a best of LP with some info and on the back cover. Perhaps second LP will spark some interest. All the best. Yes, yes, yes. There's been there's been a lot of requests for it. Um, the new Symphonia. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Recorded live. Okay, so this is a live album. The Who live at Leeds. Wow, we've got a lot of Who stuff going on here. Cool. I'm excited. This is this is one of the things that people were requesting that I couldn't find. Yeah, on uh, YouTube. Well, um. I'll just show this one. Oh, is that the Eagles? Really? Am I an idiot? It's the Eagles? That's probably exactly what it is. I couldn't read it. Anyway, okay, so that's this. Um, then we have the Wings Greatest Hits. Cool, awesome. There he is, Paul McCartney. Band on the Run. We need to do another Wings song. We only ever did one, I think. All right, cool, cool, cool. Band on the run. All right, um, final package, also from David King. Some more albums. Uh, as always, can go through them relatively quickly. First, there is a message that says. Quicksilver Messenger Service, sometimes simply called Quicksilver, are an American psychedelic rock band formed in 1965 in San Francisco. The band achieved wide popularity in the San Francisco Bay Area, and through their recordings with psychedelic rock enthusiasts around the globe, several of their albums ranked in the top 30 of the Billboard pop charts. They were part of the new wave of album-oriented bands, achieving renown and popularity despite lack of success with their singles. Only one, Fresh Air, charted, reaching number 49 in 1970. 
Although not as co commercially successful as contemporaries Jefferson Airplane and The Grateful Dead, Quicksilver was integral to the beginnings of their genre. With the jazz and classical influences and strong folk background, the band attempted to create an individual, innovative sound. Musical historian Colin Larkin wrote, of all the bands that came out of San Francisco during the late 60s, Quicksilver typified most of the style, attitude, and sound of that era. Obviously, I need to find a Quicksilver song to check out on the channel. Um, but yeah, so first we have Quicksilver Anthology right here. Then the next one I recognize just from the, um, the image on the front. This is Tubular Bells. It was by Mike. Mike Old Oldfield. Is that how you... Is that how you pronounce that? Oldfield? Okay. Hopefully. Um, yeah, so I think this is an instrumental album that a, a very young person made, like, by themselves um, using, a, a, I think, like, dozens of instruments. Um, and I am also pretty sure that part of it's used in The Exorcist as, like, the theme music. Um, yeah. There have been requests for me to react to this album. And um, I'm just going to say, how would I do that with an instrumental album? I mean, I, technically I could, and then I guess I could go on Wikipedia and look at some information about it. If you guys would want to see that, let me know down below if you'd like me to check out Tubular Bells. If there's enough interest, maybe I'll do that at some point. Because um, I'm sure it'd be fun. It's just, like, I wouldn't, you know, have lyrics to dissect and stuff, which would mean that the majority of the video would be me listening to music. All right, um, this says J Tommy Bolin, Private Eyes. I like this entire album. This artist deserves some attention. Bought two bands, brought two bands back from the brink of destruction, James Gang and Deep Purple, while searching for his own path. His me, oh. Did he pass away at 25? Wow. His music history is worth a look. This is his second LP. His first teaser is considered even better. Enjoy. Okay. His fir the first album is called Teaser. This is called Private Eyes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Then we have Mary McGregor, Torn Between Two Lovers. Bloodwin Pig, A Head Rings Out. Huh. Mick Abrams, Left... Jethro Tull. Ah, okay. Mick Abrams left Jethro Tull and formed this group. Enjoy. Interesting. The pig on the front. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, All right. Get into this, Bloodwind Pig. Is this a live recording? I have no idea. Anyway, so there's that. Then we have Robert Palmer. Um... Sneaking Sally through the alley. Okay, cool. A Robert Palmer solo record. Cool. Humble Pie, Smokin'. Who's Next by The Who. Behind Blue Eyes is such a, yeah. Bob O'Reilly's really good, too. I haven't heard many of the other ones. Won't Get Fooled Again sounds familiar, but I don't remember ever hearing an eight-minute long song so maybe maybe not um pat benatar yep in the heart of the height then pat benatar crimson Cr not crimson <laughs> apologies crimes of passion okay cool meet little fat out of hell let's go Yeah, I need to do more meatloaf. Meatloaf is fun. Um, Purple Rain, Prince and the Revolution. Cool. Prince is such an incredible artist. Like, yeah. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Must have song for Halloween. Thriller. Yep, yep, I've heard Thriller many times. Uh, we, ha we, we might have this album on... Uh, CD, I think. And yeah, pretty much every Halloween we listen to Thriller. Um, probably other songs on this album, too. It's a great album. I don't know if I've heard it all the way through before. 
and I'm excited to hear it on vinyl. But I'm, I'm positive I've heard at least half of it before. Um, all right, greatest hits from the movies. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Then we have Captain Fantastic. Captain Fantastic, the brown dirt cowboy. Oh, is that Elton John? It is Elton John, okay. Full experience with this one. Not only did they include a small poster of the full album cover, they also have a beautiful lyrics booklet with photos, a scrap booklet with more photos and news clips. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Super cool. Love all the tactile stuff that, that comes with these. Um, yeah. Love the album art for this. Then we have Pete Townsend. I had just finished I just finished 10th grade in 82. This came out that summer. Drop Needle LP for me. Must start at the first song and play through. Every song produced so well, blended together perfectly. My opinion, obviously. Enjoy. The whole LP is 41 minutes in length. Quick listen. Okay. Pete Townsend. Town. Uh, Chinese eyes. Every time Pete Town. Send? Is that how I'm supposed to say it? And the H is silent? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Cool. Cool, cool. Oh, jeez. All right. Yeah, I am uh, planning on reacting to, uh, to this. Joe's Garage by Frank Zappa. Yeah. Yeah, this will be a full album reaction. All right, that is everything. Thank you so much, everybody. Really appreciate all of you. I haven't been uploading as much lately because I've been doing a lot of school and also things are opening up and I've just been more busy with other stuff as well. Um, I appreciate your patience as I um, sort stuff out and just, I don't know, get everything together and start uploading again. Um, but, uh, yeah, I appreciate you checking this video out. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on these, on these records down below if you want. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Deathstroke 9, out. We are Legion, my friends.